Hello, I'm Sam Calagione, president and founder of Dogfish Head Brewery. So Dogfish Head opened as the smallest brewery in America in 1995, 20 years ago. I was the only brewer and I made 12 gallon batches of beer in the corner of my restaurant. Uh, today we are one of the 20 biggest breweries in America out of 4,000 breweries making uh, many, many thousands of gallons of beer every day. And I'm very proud that we've grown, but I'm more proud that we have still make the kinds of exotic and exciting beers we made back when we were the smallest brewery in the country. It doesn't matter what scale, what size you want to get to as a brewery, there's great small breweries and there's great bigger breweries. But was, what is most important, what to me defines a world-class brewery, is they have to do three things with equal focus and passion. They have to make beer that is quality, consistency, and well differentiated. That's the balance that gives a strong foundation to a brewery. The brewer's mind, our creativity, that's what allows us to be well differentiated. Our recipes are different and exciting. Quality and consistency, some of that in, is in the brewers and co-workers brains as well, but a lot of the quality and consistency in our beer and from many world-class breweries comes because they buy world-class brewing and packaging equipment. So our company, Dogfish Head, is certainly best known for our beer, and mostly what we make is beer. But we are an experiential company. We want people to experience our brand in, in what they eat. We make wonderful foods, we make wonderful beers, we make wonderful distilled spirits, we have a beer-themed hotel. Uh, but beer is certainly the lifeblood of what Dogfish Head does and our Cronus packaging line is the major artery that lets our lifeblood go from coast to coast. So in the history of America, I don't think there's been a better moment 
than today, to be a beer lover and also to be a beer maker. And I do believe that indie American craft beer will get to 20% of the American beer market uh, by the year 2020. We're at about 12% now, but every year the small indie beers that make more intensely flavorful beers, those are the breweries that are growing. Thank <laughs> you.